heat waves, and erratic rainfall patterns. Early warning systems for various climate-induced hazards, including floods, glacial lake outbursts, droughts, and extreme heat are essential for resilience, not just for Pakistan, but for all vulnerable nations worldwide. I extend my sincere gratitude to Secretary General Antonio Guterres for his visionary leadership in launching the Early Warning for All initiative, which aims to protect every person on Earth with an early warning system by 2027. The recent call to action on extreme heat emphasizes the need for multi-hazard early warning systems, which are critical to saving lives and supporting sustainable development in the face of climate adversity. I would also like to recognize the efforts of the United Nations Office for Disaster Risk Reduction and the World Meteorological Organization, WMO, their leadership in implementing early warning for all and addressing extreme heat and has been indispensable in driving forward initiatives that protect the most vulnerable among us. Despite our limited resources, Pakistan is committed to climate action and has set very ambitious goals. Our pledge to reduce projected greenhouse gas emissions by 50% by 2030 comprises a 15% reduction to national efforts and an, an additional 35% contingent on international support. Our in initiatives include the Green Project, Pakistan Project, an electric vehicle policy, a large-scale mangrove rehabilitation project, and BRT mass transit systems across major cities. These efforts aim to fulfill our national determined contribut contributions and disease, and to balance our global mitigation role with local adaptation needs. However, we must acknowledge that national efforts alone are insufficient. Accessible climate finance is indispensable for countries like Pakistan to meet these targets. We urgently call on developed nations to honor their US dollar 100 billion climate finance annual pledge and establish a new collective quantitative goal that reflects today's needs with funding reaching into the trillions. We believe Excellent. this funding must be accessible, grant-based, and reflective of the historical responsibilities of industrialized nations. The burden of adaptation cannot rest solely on developing countries. While Pakistan stands ready to do its part, we look to the international community for support, particularly in accessing climate finance for early warning systems and climate resilience projects. We need mechanisms that ensure easy, direct access to funds that can bolster Pakistan national programs rather than piloting isolated projects. Pakistan is committed to being part of the solution to our shared climate crisis and with strong partnership through initiatives like EW4 for All and support from our global allies, we can bridge the early warning gap, enhance resilience, and build a safer, more sustainable future for generations to come. Let us ensure that today's discussions and commitments translate into tangible actions, bringing us closer to achieving universal early warnings, as well as decisive and equitable climate action. I thank you all. Thank you, Excellency. پیشگی اطلاعات بڑھتی حدت سے متعلق اعلیٰ سطح کا اجلاس جس میں نائب وزیر اعظم اسحاق ڈار خطاب کر رہے تھے انہوں نے کہا کہ سیلاب سے پاکستان کا تیس ارب سے زائد کا نقصان ہوا اس طرح کے نقصانات کو دیکھتے ہوئے پاکستان سنجیدگی سے محولیات کی بہتری پر کام کر رہا ہے دنیا بھر میں محولیاتی آلودگی سے سب سے زیادہ جو دس ممالک متاثر ہیں اس میں پاکستان شامل ہے بریک کے بعد شامل کریں گے ہٹ بار دیکھتے رہی آج نہیں